that moment of getting a dancer in their most ideal moment. That's what I love doing. I'm Angela Sterling, and I am a dance photographer. Yes, oh my god, fabulous. My client list includes ballet companies like Ballet de Monte Carlo, Dutch National, Ballet uh, Flanders in Belgium, uh, Boston Ballet, uh, Pacific Northwest Ballet, and I've been their exclusive photographer for probably 13 years now. I'm on the road for 15 days out of every month, which um, my pet sitter appreciates. Uh, I don't think my dog does. <laughs> The process that I have for uh, many of my clients is to get onto a, uh, a very large airplane, fly 10 hours, arrive in the city, shoot all night, stay up all night working on the images, um, deliver the images, shoot a little bit more from backstage, and then get onto a plane and fly 10 hours home. Very exhausted. <laughs> Nothing very exciting is happening right now. <laughs> Usually for opening night, I will shoot from backstage to get backstage images, which is another great favorite part of my time, is that it's home back there for me. I've spent 20 years of my life backstage waiting for the curtain to go up during performances. I started at seven. Um, by eight or nine, I was at Boston Ballet. Uh, I trained uh, at Boston Ballet until I was 15. Then I came to Seattle um, and joined the company at 16, uh, very young age to join a company. Um, and I danced with Pacific Northwest Ballet for uh, 13 years, uh, many of which as a soloist. My career ended due to a back injury. During warm-up, I was doing some jumps to warm up for the role I was doing. and. And I just came down wrong. So that was it. All done. <laughs> to have an injury uh, end your career like this uh, is very shocking. Um, your whole identity is wrapped up with being a dancer, with living the life day in and day out. How I became a photographer is when I stopped dancing, I finally went to the marketing department to see pictures of when I had been a dancer, and um, there were probably three or four out of a 13-year career. And I turned to the marketing director and I said, how is this possible? And she said, well, then do it better. And it was a big light bulb that went off in my head. I just thought, yeah, I'm going to do this better. I'm going to make dance photography something that no one's ever seen before. What I enjoy most about being a dance photographer is that I show dancers at their best moments, which after a long career of training and working hard, they deserve that. So we're going to be creating a poster, hopefully, for next year with uh, the new principal, Leslie Rausch, Femme Fatale. Yes, yeah, good. This time, look at me, chin down a little bit. Yes, exactly. The highlight to my job is working with dancers. A little bit more shoulders. Maybe do fourth position. We speak the same language, and especially when we get into the studio for a photo shoot. Yes, oh, that's so cool. It takes a couple minutes, but then it's just, we're both working together. Yes, great. I love it when this happens. Yeah, I think it's a way of staying um, attached to this world um, that makes it so my heart's involved, is the, definitely the dancers. People say that my lifestyle is glamorous, and I guess in a way it is. Packing up my bag every month and being able to go to Amsterdam, being in Monte Carlo and getting a chance to meet Princess Caroline and Prince Albert, I guess you could say that's pretty glamorous. I've always said that I hope to leave this world leaving um, a mark, where someone will look at an Angela Sterling photograph and go, she did a really good job photographing dancers.